Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use general MIDI with Reaper. Okay, so I have a blank session here and I'm going to call up a virtual instrument. On OSX, we have this DLS music device. It's a general MIDI synth. And as you can see, there's not a lot of controls on it. Not much you can do here. The only thing you really would probably want to do is turn the reverb all the way off because it's not a great sounding reverb. So I'm going to turn it all the way down. How do we choose the sound? There's no way to choose the sound from this plugin, which is incredibly bizarre and uh, the whole point of this tutorial because it's not intuitive. Go to the stock plugins, the Kakos folder, and bring up Re Control MIDI. Bring that in. I'm going to rearrange these, change the order. I'm going to zoom in here so we can focus just this section. So I've got my keyboard. We've got the the default patch, which is piano. In ReControl MIDI, this is a plugin that modifies whatever your input MIDI is and converts it to something else to send to your synth sound module. Uh, so we're going to use the bank and program select option here. And these options aren't enabled until we load a file. This is going to bring up your Reaper data folder, and you choose this one, GM ReBank. Then we go to General MIDI, and here we go. We've got all of our sounds in General MIDI. There's not just this bank, there's a few others with different patches. They're not super high quality sounds. Don't expect a lot from them. This is the sound quality you would get from one of those keyboards you can buy at Radio Shack, but they're okay for doing demos. If you just want to get an idea down quickly, this is a good option. So Acoustic Grand Piano, Vibraphone. We do add in that reverb. It's not so bad. Makes it sound a little nicer. There's organs. We can also do things with this Read Control MIDI plugin to snap to a scale. So we can choose major scale. Um, I'm going to grab the minor scale here. So I was playing a major chord and it converted it to a minor. Uh, we can do control change. Let's add in mod wheel. So that's the same as um, controlling the mod wheel on your keyboard. That's kind of the basics. Once we have a MIDI file imported, I can show you something different. I'm going to disable this plugin because we've already sent that program change we're still hearing that organ. Let's change this back to use the grand piano. And then disable this. And I'm going to grab a MIDI file for the accordion. I'm sure, I'll import that too. So I got this file here. And here, go to piano view, piano roll. Here's what we have. That's a piano, not an accordion. I'm going to have to zoom out. And I can show you in this section here, we go to Bank Program Select and double click to add a new event. You can choose Bank, General MIDI, and Accordion. Click OK. So that embeds the program change event into your MIDI file and you get the sound that you want. I think more flexible is the Root Control MIDI plugin because we can browse through it a lot easier even without stopping playback. Turn off snap to scale. All right, so that's it. That's the DLS music device and Read Control MIDI. 
using General MIDI in Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've learned something. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.